On the occasion of World Diabetes Day, we have Dr. Utkal Kishore Khadanga with us. Hello, sir. The theme of this year's World Diabetes Day is access to diabetes care. But reports suggest that 42 million with diabetes are undiagnosed in India. Is infrastructure weak or uh, awareness? What's your take on this? So this year's theme underscores the importance of collaboration, education and access to health care. So diabetes is a global health concern affecting millions and awareness is a crucial step in prevention and management. So by working together, we can improve diabetes care and support for those living with this condition. So let's raise our voices and spread awareness, increasing healthier lifestyle, early detection and better treatment options. So as you rightly point out the question, so I would, uh, would not say the lack of uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, I would say it's you know, lack of awareness. So the government is doing uh, very well at the level, ground level, the root level as well. And they have opened the public health uh, centers chc and you know the health care is being provided at every village also but awareness is the key if people do not know okay they have diabetes so they might have diabetes they don't check and so it goes undetected so as you rightly said according to our icmr study also uh, 136 million people are pre-diabetic in india so can pre-diabetic be reversed yeah, so uh, now uh, this is the window period. What is pre-diabetes? When we say check the blood glucose and the blood glucose remains between 100 to 125 or in the fasting state or the postprandial state, the blood glucose from 140 to 199, we say it's pre-diabetes. So in during this uh, period, this is the window period where if the person knows he has got this level of blood glucose and with diet and excess alone, they can become normal. So they can prevent it. So only and unless and until they don't check it, they won't know it. They will not know that they are in the pre-diabetic stage. So awareness is to you know, uh, we have the, the persons who have got a family history or obese or have got you know uh, like uh, smoking or they have got other diseases like uh, you know uh, cardiac diseases. They have to check the blood glucose and they have to know where they stand, whether in a normal range or in the pre-diabetic stage or the only diabetic. So the pre-diabetic stage with diet and excess, they, it can be reversible. So over 101 million people in India are living with diabetes. That's such a huge number. Hereditary or lifestyle? What is the main factor that can lead to diabetes and what can be done as a precaution against it? Uh, so uh, the diabetes, they have got one out mostly type 2 diabetic. Once 95% of diabetes considered type 2 diabetes, 3 to 3.5% is type 1 diabetes. So type 2 diabetes, this is hereditary, which we cannot change. But you know, hereditary factor is there. When that comes with uh, change in lifestyle, sedentary habits, stressful job, poor diet habits, they increase the you know, chance of getting diabetes. We cannot change our genes, but we can always change this. So if a person you know, does exercise regularly, avoid unhealthy, you know, uh, this fried junk food, calorie-rich food, cheesy food, and, extra, and you know, stress, that is most important factor again, and they can keep this under control, so it can be prevented. Are there any early signs that indicate a person is affected with diabetes? The early signs are like triad is, you know, the classic triad is weight loss, unexplained weight loss and uh, uh, polyuria that means, you know, uh, going to uh, urinate uh, more frequently and uh, polydipsia means uh, increased thirst. These are the three uh, classical uh, symptoms. Apart from that, uh, it can mean non-healing of any wound or irritability or fatigability so these are the few uh, signs and symptoms and when a person you know feels they have this they should without delay go and check the blood glucose in the nearest uh, you know, possible uh, hospital uh, what are the human organs that get affected or are vulnerable if a person has diabetes uh, a diabetic you know the increased blood glucose that affects uh, all the parts of the body starting from the eyes to nerves to kidneys to heart to liver even to brain everything so uh, the, the maximum number of you know blindness is due to that diabetic retinopathy the maximum number of lower limb amputation is due to di diabetic neuropathy and the maximum the, the diabetics basically die of either heart problem or kidney problem so the maximum number of kidney disease or renal in, uh, you know, transplantation that happens in diabetics so unless until sugar is under control with a poor uh, this uh, 
blood glucose control so they are the sugar affect these organs and they land up into the chronic and acute complications so it's not that a diabetic should only you know go and check the fasting and pp blood glucose or hp one c they have to uh, follow four principles a b c d a is for a one c b is for you know, blood pressure they have to keep the blood pressure under control c is for the cholesterol they have to keep it under control and d is most important discipline that's a nice mantra sir a b c d uh, so recently we have seen a surge in deaths due to cardiac arrest uh, among youths so has this anything to do with diabetic condition as few of the deceased have uh, were, su were suffering from type 2 diabetes yeah this uh, recently you know many of the you know superstars and uh, you know, at the young age uh, they uh, uh, were prior to this you know they they had this uh, they succumb to uh, uh, this because of diabetes so i will not point out that you know, they it happened because of uh, mostly exercise while they are exercising and uh, and for all things uh, happened and uh, uh, stressful life you know substance abuse so these are the factors yeah as you rightly pointed out the diabetics have got a 50 percentage higher chance of getting a heart problem than as compared to normal population so before embarking into any exercise activity they have to consult their doctor or a, they can go for a heart checkup if everything is fine so they can go into exercise program and uh, if as i said this obesity it is not under control so definitely they can have as i said 50% of are getting a heart attack so they have this heart attack and they may die is there a complete cure for diabetes as of now there is no cure for diabetes diabetes has only and only have to keep it under control so this is uh, like you know not a disease this is a disorder which we have to keep it in order by ourselves with consultation with the doctor and uh, uh, again i said not only blood glucose so they have to go to a doctor they have to visit a doctor at least once in 3 months they have to check hba1c they have to keep under control of you know, blood pressure cholesterol at least once in 6 months they have to check the kidneys and the liver function test once in a year they have to check for eyes and whether there is retinopathy has affected or not and uh, uh, ecg and uh, this uh, food test like to know the diabetic uh, neuropathy has affected or not as we say precaution is better than cure uh, any advice you want to give to today's youth uh, yeah uh, exercise regularly that is the main mantra at least 45 minutes a day 5 days a week avoid all sort of uh, fried items sugar based salty food and go for the you know uh, the uh, as old uh, our home cooked food that is always best and uh, uh, stress so uh, nowadays the uh, lifestyle has become very stressful and target oriented job so only uh, with exercise i would say that you know we leave a job or sit at home so do a job but exercise is most important with exercise you can bring down the stress level you can uh, reduce uh, the blood glucose levels you can reduce the blood pressure the cholesterol levels so that is the only factor which can actually help you to lead a better life thank you for your time sir thank you